Hello, good morning and welcome um, to Cooking with Kayla. Uh, my able assistant is currently just washing her hands at the moment. Um, so welcome. And I don't know if many of you know, but this week um, is a special week of Cooking with Kayla because it will actually be our final one. Yeah, so it's our last cooking with Kayla. Uh, good morning to you, I hope you're well. Um, our t-shirts have arrived just in time for our final cooking session. Um, and so the reason this is our final one is it isn't to do with you lovely people, uh, but we've got one or two things uh, going on at home, as many of you know. My mother's very ill, that's Kayla's grandma, and so we've decided um, that we'll make this the last one for now, but we may come back in a few weeks time here and there but it won't be a regular thing so we've said this is the last one um we've had a great time and we're really grateful for your help i had what's, a wonderful time yes yeah you've had a wonderful what's yeah. been happening in the meantime what have we got here oh uh, we've got t-shirts i think you mentioned yeah yes so we've got uh, if you've ordered your t-shirts get in touch varying sizes here we've got some for some them. big yeah. people some there's for some, some nice ones here there are some nice ones for small people oh there's yeah, two in there that's so see. small look how cute is this so if you order your t-shirt, your t-shirt has arrived. The t-shirt's £10. Uh, they come in large sizes and small sizes. But here's the big size. A rebel who wanted a white one. In XL, look how big that is. Yeah, who, XL. Who, who, who could who, possibly who need that? Yeah, who could fit in an XL? I am, I am currently wearing an XL myself, but that's, <laughs> that's beside the point. Yeah, so um, you can still order t-shirts if you want a t-shirt as a memento. So these are all written backwards so that when... Um, when you appear in front of a mirror or you take a selfie, the writing is the right way around. So it works for recording purposes. Yes. So, um, but um, I recommend the black, not the white, because if you're, yeah. if you're actually you're going to be doing cooking... Yeah, the white is no good. Yeah. So we want to say a big thank you to FM Branding for sorting out the t-shirts. Um, and as I say, if you want to order one, you can. And if you've ordered one, we will get those out to you. So what are we baking today? Um, today we are baking jammy buns. So this is a Mary Berry recipe, isn't it? Okay, so bring the the, the nation the nation sweetheart. The nation sweetheart, yes. yeah. So show the book. Oh, sorry. It looks like this at the front. Obviously, Backwards. normally forwards. Yeah. There's Mary. It's her fast cakes. So uh, jammy yeah. So buns. Mary Berry fast cakes, easy bakes in minutes. Yeah. But realistically, every bakes in minutes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not funny. <laughs> okay, so what are our ingredients? Are you going to oh, yes, read over so I can get hold of the ingredients? Okay, are you are you holding up? Okay, so we need to have a bowl. Yeah, that's not an ingredient. Okay, but it's a necessity. Um, flour. So you want eight hundred eight ounces. Sorry, not eight hundred ounces. Two hundred and twenty-five grams or eight ounces of self-raising flour. Yeah. We had lovely self-raising flour from Lino, haven't we? Yeah. In a white plastic bag, which is lovely. Really sorry. Get on here. I know. I'm just yeah. giving people background. Um, a quarter level teaspoon of ground mixed spice. Yeah. 50 grams or two ounces of butter. We've used margarine. Um, 50 grams or two ounces yet again, but this time of caster sugar. We've used granulated. One large egg, which will be beaten. In a minute. We've gone XL large, extra, extra large, extra large. Yeah. Um, two tablespoons of milk. Which we haven't measured yet. Yeah. And it's about two tablespoons of uh, strawberry jam. And then a little bit of extra granulated sugar. So we've got um, our sugar pot. Yeah. So that's just the end, isn't it? Here so well. what are we going to do with all this lot? So to start with, we need to... We need a wooden spoon. We need to get a wooden spoon, spoon out there. That's because we've, we can be breaking We are rapidly running out of wooden spoons, but we've still got one left. Um, so first of all, we need to wash your hands. I haven't washed my hands okay, yet. Okay, you've got to wash your hands. I'll sieve the flour, shall I? No, we need to put the... Uh, oh, we need to put the oven on. So the oven's got to go on at 200 degrees for a fan uh, oven, or 180 or gas mark 6. So I'll just do that. So we've got a fan oven, so it's 180. And what we have done already is we have uh, pre-greased our baking sheets. So Mary suggests that you actually put um, baking paper, greaseproof paper, on the baking sheets. But we like to live dangerously, so we've just greased them instead. Yes, so... Step one is to measure your flour. We've done, done that. So you pour one in. Yeah. Then we also want to get our spices ready as well. Ooh, oh, careful. That, that, there's quite a lot of spice. It's quite full. So a level, quarter of a label. Label. Level. Level. <laughs> that would be one. I'll do a bit more. Okay, so... I'm just, mainly missing this... A <laughs> random <laughs> amount. A teaspoon, not tablespoon. Mixed spoon. spice. Um, we're yep. mainly, I was mainly missing the spoon there, but yeah. normally um, you aim... It's more, it's more than a book than anything else. Yeah. Um, so that's done. 
So that part's done. So now we want to, uh, you yeah, know, it's all good. You've done a good yeah. job there. And then we're going to rub in our butter. So that's, we don't need one spoon yet for this. The butter is here. We've cut it up into small little chunks already. Oh, okay. So you want to chuck that bad boy in. Yeah. Here we go. Yes. It's obviously a quick way of doing this. And then we're going to rub it in. So rubbing it in, what are we doing? Fingers and thumbs. Yeah, so a bit of fingers and thumbs. So uh, we've not made this recipe before, have we? No. But, um, but we like the we like the name jammy buns. Jammy buns. And we like the fact that it's a bit of a rubbed in method with a bit of fingers and thumbs, which is Caleb's favourite cake making method, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So what we're aiming for is a breadcrumb consistency again. So at the moment we haven't got that. <laughs> no. But it just you know, it's, suddenly you just get there, don't you? Suddenly you do get this. So while you're doing that, do you want to do some shout outs as well? Can you multitask? I don't think, do, do, do you want to do, <laughs> do, you want to yeah. do that? Well, I'll do, I'll do one and you do the other. So um, we need to give a massive shout out to Adam Gompertz and to Charlotte Gompertz. So if you remember, they helped us out on VE Day when Caleb was taking an exam. So hello to the Gompertzes. Um, they're probably as mad as we are, I would suggest. What do you think? Well, maybe maybe madder. Maybe madder. So <laughs> Adam's, always, not, Adam's not here live, so yes, I feel like I Yes, we like about Adam because he's not actually tuned in yet. But um, it, they've been really great and supportive and we've been really grateful for their help. So hello to them. And so link to them, what else do we have? Uh, Revs Enville and Rev Shrewsbury, who yep. currently aren't meeting, obviously due to the COVID crisis, yep. but are here um, getting up to lots and bits and bobs, aren't they? Yeah, so we've got a lot of people from Revs joining in baking um, and also... Um, next weekend, I think it's next weekend, there's another Revs Limiter event. So if you enjoyed the virtual car show um, a few weekends ago, then there's another one of those coming up. So hello to everyone at Revs. Um, to Peter Plevy. Yeah, who recovering from He's recovering, COVID. yeah, it's getting, getting better right here. It'd be good to see you again soon. Yeah. Well, mainly, mainly Gertie the dog. <laughs> yeah. But we'll pretend, we'll pretend you as well, Peter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, Frankie and Ralph, well I think might be Caleb's number one fans, particularly Frankie. So we're really sorry Frankie that we won't be here next week, but we will, uh, we might even do the odd film just for Frankie, might we? We George. could do, yes. Yeah, yeah, so don't worry Frankie, we will be around. Um, and to Ralph, and to their grandma, or nanny, I don't know what you call yourself, but say hello to her. Give yes. them a wave, give Frankie a wave. And... There you go, fingers and thumbs. Um, to Layla and Nicola, who really should be doing this instead of us, I think. Really. Yeah, because they're <laughs> much more gifted. They're a much better uh, mother and child combo than we. Right, should we get on with this recipe? Sorry, how's that it, looking? I think it's looking like breadcrumbs, really. It's looking like breadcrumbs. So do you want to... Um... Um, so you want, to, you want it to look like breadcrumbs. In case you've forgotten what breadcrumbs look like, this is what breadcrumbs look like. Yeah, okay. It kind of looks the same in the camera. Yeah. Um, um, stir in the sugar. Stir in the sugar. So I'm making mark as the way we've got to. You get your sugar, plop it in. Oh, we haven't sifted that one. Yes. Oh, no, Too late now. Sip the sugar before you plop it in. Yeah, stir that in. Then what do you do next? Um, then you blend the egg with the milk. So I'm going to crack the egg. In the milk. So you want to beat the egg? I think it's a fork. Yeah. You're making a bit more mess this week, aren't we? Really? Well, that's yeah. So broken the egg. Are you going to beat the egg? You're broken the egg. Well, it doesn't matter because we're going to beat it in. Aren't we? I suppose you're right. So we're going to beat the egg. Um, obviously, you'd be better in a bigger bowl than this, really. Do you want to say another shout out? Um, we already know. Yeah. Um, St Andrew's Church in Moscow. Yeah, so we want to say hello to all our friends in the Anglican Church in Moscow. We've got had one or two views from them, so that's really exciting. So, um, hello to you. And uh, yeah, if you want something English, I don't know how English jammy buns are, but I'm guessing it's pretty English stuff. Merry Berry. I don't know, maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe your Russian likes a bit of jammy buns. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. Um, okay, um, so and then, hang on, adding, we're adding to our egg, what are we adding? Adding the milk. Two tablespoons of, of milk. milk. So, one. Now this milk, strangely, there's lots of mixed spice in. <laughs> I can't imagine how that happened. That's not a big problem though, because obviously it's always going in the pan. Yes. I mean, it's, not, well, it's not going in the pan at all, is it? You want to say hello to Jane Hingley? It's Jane Hingley, yeah. She's watched yeah. and caught up when she's missed, so it's nice to have her with us. We also want to say hello to all the schools, particularly locally. Um, we're thinking of everybody who's gone back, for those who haven't yet. So what's that number? Year one, six, and is it reception? Yeah, I think so. I don't, I'm not We're not really sure, keeping we, track We know it. that absolutely year six is back. Um, so we're saying hello to everybody at Brindley, and hello, hello to everybody at Foley. And we've also got friends at um, Porter's Funeral Directors, so hello to you. Thank you for all your help and support at the moment. Um, 
David Rice at St Peter's in Wolverhampton is apparently, I don't know if he's baking, but he's apparently caught a glimpse here and there. No, see, it doesn't, doesn't really strike me as a baking man, Dave, but... Oh, know, I think he might be. Because that, you know... Yeah, I think you might be. Nobody thought you could bake. You can't, you this. can't, you can't do your right, book by Right, so you're adding pour this in. in. Yes, please pour, pour, pour. Pour. So you're just stirring in the beaten egg and uh, milk um, to try and make what Mary describes as stiff dough. Do. It's a bit yeah, a bit, it's, yeah. So it looks like the cheese twist so far, which is wrong. It does look like cheese twists, which isn't any good for a jammy bun. So we'll do another tablespoon of milk. So who knows whether you again yeah, watch carefully if you're going to do this at home. We have posted the recipe, so you might be doing this as we speak with us. Yeah. A bit more, please. A bit more. Okay, so we're definitely on about four tablespoons of milk. The good thing about the jammy buns is you're meant to eat them warm, which is a really nice thing, because who doesn't like hot cake, I would suggest. Back to how are those looking? Oh, I'd say they're actually pretty good, actually. Okay, so is that a stiff dough? Um, no, but it'd be stiff dough too. Okay, so let's lift you up, let's tidy up a tiny bit. There we go, keep going. Do you want me to give that a... No, no, no. Do you want a bit more milk? Because what's going to happen is... I know, I'll take the credit for yeah. making the stiff dough. Exactly. Well, it's basically, <laughs> it's basically your only dough. It's just it's a little bit... I was going to come in for a moment of glory there, because I just felt I deserved it. Okay, I think that'll do. Okay, so then... Um, we're going to get it all out, aren't we? Well, I don't know if we're going to get it all out. We'll get, this will make 12 buns, so you're effectively... I'm not sure that really is quite a stiff dough yet. Is that going to go into one day? Oh yeah, there we go, well done. I think it will go into one day. Yeah. You've got to get your hands back in. Yeah, hands back in, make it into one day. You're looking to make one big ball before you roll your ball out into buns. Yeah. Oh, we need the handle of our wooden spoon. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, just a little bit. We'll reuse this tray first. Right, so. Have your dough. So that's our stiff ball of dough that'll do. So divide it in half. Yep. You need a bigger half because you work a bit quicker than I do. Okay. Um, so you're making 12, so I'm just going to keep dividing this. I think we're going to make more than that. So I've got to make six out of this, haven't I? Yep. So one, two. So you want to roll them into balls. So we'll do balls oh, first. Do you want another the, uh, tray? Okay, yeah. I'll take my ball with me. Take the ball, move your tray, put the tray here. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna just make our balls up. We're gonna make all twelve balls up before we do the second step of the ball yeah. activity. So for once, mine seem to be bigger than Caleb's. So that's cheering me quite a lot. Because we know, oh, that's very small. Yeah, that's too small. Isn't it? Small balls. Small balls. These are much better. Yes. So. So, you've got your 12, hopefully. Then you make a hole in the top with a wooden spoon. How do you make yours so quickly? Because I'm quick at things. I'm not going to have any when you're six. Why? Okay. Mm. okay, so maybe. I'm going to have five. Do you think these are a bit big? Oh, no, I'm going to have six, I think. Okay. I can't count. Okay, so you make a hole in the top with a wooden spoon. Well, I've got these, the last two are a bit small. Okay, so yeah, hole in the top. Then you take. And the jam, how's that going? Yeah, holding the top. Don't, don't go right through. No, not all the way through. No, not all the way through. I think that's good. I, 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 I don't think I went wrong. Um, she suggests strawberry jam, but we've only got raspberry. And then, I think raspberry jam is obviously better than strawberry yeah, we jam. Do I know that is controversial. And then you put the jam strawberry into should, the hole. Strawberry should be safe for cream. Yeah, so put a bit of a teaspoon of jam into the hole. I think it's got quite well, actually. Yeah, it looks like it's gone very Do you want to do the jamming over here as well? No, I want you to do your own jamming. Get a teaspoon. Oh, I need my own teaspoon. Oh, you're almost done, I'll just use your teaspoon. Okay, so. Because then you've got to do the second step, haven't you? And then, yeah, so we put the first. jam in, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pinch the hole closed. Now, I think in likelihood, I might have used a bit oh, much jam. Same. Um, oh, far too much jam. 
Oh well. But you pinch the whole closed. You're gonna struggle. Okay, struggle so I here. think much less jam, much less jam is what's required. It probably doesn't really <laughs> we should have tried these before. Look, told you I need a teaspoon. I'm gonna take out some jam everybody. Oh this is bet this one over here's been quite well actually. Yeah. So, so don't fill the holes up with jam as we're discovering. Hopefully you're not doing this with us and getting into the most terrible mess. And then pinch to cover, cover up, remove the excess jam. This isn't very Mary Berry anymore, is it? It's a bit more Nigella, I would say. She doesn't mind a bit of finger licking and a bit of a mess, does she? No, that's not what actually. Okay, so pinch them together. And then you need to turn them over. Oh, turn them over? Yeah. Oh, it's going to go very wrong for me. Yeah, turn them over. So that's why you didn't want to have <laughs> gone right through. Well, so turn them over onto the seam. Uh, so the idea is they'll cook and close at the bottom and seal. Well, if they don't seal, it's not the end of the world, is it? Well, it'll get very sticky, won't it? So whether these will come off the baking tray or not, we've got no idea. Okay. Not really sure. We're not really sure. It's gone very well. <laughs> okay, how's that going? Don't be... <laughs> are you licking? You just said that we could lick. Well, I didn't really. Oh, okay. I'm just going to have a little wipe down. And then these go into the oven for 10 minutes. Oh, we're supposed to sprinkle sugar on them first. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. That's what I was talking about, really, not really? the whole closing of a jam. Yeah, so we sprinkle them with a little bit of caster sugar. And we've got granulated, because obviously that's how we're rolling. Quite tasty, that's actually. Quite tasty. How much are you... Oh, I don't want to put way more sugar than you have. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, oh wow, yeah. that's a load. So, that's, so sprinkle with sugar, and then we're popping them in the oven for 10 minutes. Okay. That's gone very well. Where's the lid gone? What for? Just for the sugar. Okay, very good. Well, I hope you know that. Can you do the timer for 10? 10 minutes. I'll just wipe this down. Ready for our storing. I'm going to get my hand at the before I touch books. It's always good to remember you can't be touching books with sticky hands. Yeah, don't touch books with sticky hands. Don't touch anything with sticky hands, actually. I would say. Isn't that the rule? No. <laughs> okay. So there are some things, apparently, that we can uh, touch with sticky hands. Okay, so, have you got any comments, Caleb? How, how, um... People are just saying good morning. Oh, okay. Which is lovely. That is very lovely. So, we've... Uh... If anyone said anything else other than good morning, just repeat yourself. <laughs> Do you want to try that top off? Yes, I've been, a little bit, I've been a little bit too, you know, enamoured with my own fingers and thumbs. Okay. So we brought back our scene and our little puppets, if you remember this from really early on when we started doing cooking uh, with Caleb. We had um, a scene. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to need um, our craft actors to come Right, so what is our story today, Kate? Um, <coughs> today... Oh, what are you doing? Just putting these down. Um, today we are doing the good... Oh, I'm coming this side. For dramatic purposes. Yeah? Right, what are we doing? Sorry, I need my coffee. Okay. You can't be telling stories about coffee. Okay. That's what I've learned from yeah. uh, watching plenty of CDs. Yeah. So, um, the story of the good Samaritan that we're doing today. So you can find... The original version yep. in Luke 10. Okay. Um, so yes, we're gonna we're gonna tell it in a unique way today. So, yep. on one occasion, not really. Okay. On on one occasion, a teacher of the law came to Jesus and said, "Teacher, what is the secret of getting into heaven?" "You're an expert on the scriptures," said Jesus. "Tell me what you think." "Well," argued the man, "the Jewish law states that we must love our God with all our heart." And all our strength and all our mind. And we must also love other people as much as we love ourselves. Correct, replied Jesus. Do all that and you'll find eternal life. And the man replied, but teacher, who are these people? Jesus looked at the man who was smiling and rather pleased with himself. Let me tell you a story, Jesus said. There was once a man going down the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. He was walking through a steep gorge all alone. When suddenly, robbers attacked him. Ah! <laughs> oh! There we go. There we go. Oh, 
They run away. They took all his money first. Oh, they've taken his money. That's, that's what I was doing. Okay. And they left him for dead, and then they ran away. Okay. Now along came a priest. But when he saw it like a dead body, he crossed to the other side of the road and walked on. At this point, the crowd were enamored with Jesus' story and were listening very eagerly. But the lawyer was shifting uncomfortably. He guessed his story had a painful message for himself. Another important person from the temple came along, said Jesus. He was also an expert in the law, and he thought it was wrong to touch a bed body. So he moved on very quickly. Finally, a Samaritan rode along Wait a minute. upon his donkey. He's coming from this way. The crowd listening to Jesus gasped because Samaritans were very unpopular people. Jews and Samaritans hated each other, and they did not believe the same things about God. So why was Jesus bringing Samaritans into this story, the people thought? Jesus went on. The Samaritans stopped, and he took pity on the man. He bandaged up his wounds and carried him on his donkey, all the way to an inn. He gave money to the innkeeper. Hold on. And promised to pay for any expenses as he recovered. Jesus stopped and looked at the crowd. He turned to the lawyer and asked him, which of these three men was the true friend? The one who showed love, asked the lawyer quietly. You go then and do the same, said Jesus. That is the end of our story today. So should we put all our characters there? Yes, yeah, so we put all our characters in our little uh, nativity okay. note Easter set. <laughs> Easter set. It's been the everything set, hasn't it? So these are the two that didn't help. And that's the man who did. I'll oh, see if we can stand up his donkey just behind. So next we're going to do a craft activity first. We're going to do a craft. We've got a song up. first. Okay. We'll do, we've got a song for you, obviously. Oh, we'll put the crowd. They're very bad people. Yeah. Okay, so how does it go? So this is a song. Oh, we need to insert loads of the actions a bit, don't we? We'll bring that back in in a minute. Well, no, I'm quite fond of it, really. It's really sad to see it go. So the tune is the farmers in the dell. We've, we've, we've used this tune before, haven't we? We haven't used this yeah, it's tune quite before. Quite a good tune we decided. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but we're getting simple. We haven't bothered with the instruments. Right, go on then. Oh, I saw it. Oh, no, I can start. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm less good at tunes on. On the Jericho Road, there were some really bad men. They saw a guy as he went by and they said, let's drop him. And then they beat him up. And then they knocked him to the ground. And when he was halfway up, they knocked him down again. Oh, on the Jericho Road, there was a priestly man. He saw the guy as he went by. Was he a neighbour then? He didn't pick him up. Or carry him to town. He giant steps and giant steps and giant steps around. On, On the Jericho Road, there was a Levite man. He saw the guy as he went by. Was he a neighbour then? He didn't pick him up or carry him to town. He tippy toed and tippy toed and tippy toed around. On the Jericho Road, a good Samaritan saw the guy as he went by. Was he a neighbour then? He stopped to pick him up and carried him to town and paid a kindly innkeeper to keep him safe and sound. Right, we're going to do a craft activity and then we'll sing that again. That went well, Caleb. So, our craft activity today, I thought if you wanted to, you could make a little picture to give to someone who's been a good neighbour to you or has taken care of you. So, I don't know if you can see that. We've managed to write it backwards. Oh, Caleb's going to move it closer and saying, thank you for caring. So, what we need, are you ready, Kayla? Um, Your favourite bit. Um, so, take a piece of paper. You need two pieces of paper, and then you need a coloured sheet of paper. And we've got some really nice, you probably can't see that, that's glittery paper. Can you see that? So we're going to put these on glittery paper. So if you've got, you'll need some scissors and some pens. So, if you fold your piece of paper in half, Okay, and then on the fold, do you want this pencil? No, I've got a black pencil. I know, but I think that, yes, trust me. Then place your hand with your thumb on the fold and put your hand towards the top of the page and draw around it. Okay, is that on the fold? Yes. I just don't know where I am because I'm left handed. Yeah, okay, so then draw around it. That may, yes, that's 
It's lovely. So I'll do mine a bit darker around the edge there. So you probably can't really see that, but I've drawn those dark. And then where your thumb is, underneath your thumb, draw half a heart shape. So I'll draw the I'll come up to the camera so you can see. So half half a heart shape on the corner and then we're going to take our scissors Caleb's got left handed scissors then cut round your fingers but but stop when you get to the top of the thumb so don't cut the thumb out yet so are you managing if you're very little you obviously need to get help doing this Could be your best craft activity yet, Kayla. Well, I think so. I've made my <laughs> What do you think? It does look like your hand. Okay, so just. I messed the thumb up a little bit, made the thumb a little bit thin compared to me. You might have a thin thumb, fat fingers. You might have a thin thumb. We can ask the public later. We can ask uh, the public, public later. Pony. So, you've got that far. Now what you need to do is go to the bottom corner and cut up as far as the place where the heart touches the bottom of the thumb. So on mine, I don't know if I can do that backwards for you, that's going to come up to about here. And then cut out the rest of the hand bit at the bottom. Oh, I've missed the other piece of paper. So you've got that shape, and then there should be a tiny little bit. You need to leave, don't cut to the top of the thumb. So leave a little bit of the join, and then about halfway down, just cut out a little bit. Oh, that will be the top of the heart. So that you should end up. I've got a bit of an angular. Oh, I might have messed that up there. A bit of an angular bit there. So hopefully, when you open it up. You've got two hands touching and a heart in the middle. Shall I have a look at the buns? Yep. Let me just see how the jammy buns are doing. And Kayla will keep cutting out. Oh! I think they're ready, are we? No, I think we'll give them another two minutes. Enough time for me to cut out mine. So, getting there, two more minutes. So that's ten minutes. So. We're going to suggest that you're going to need probably 12 minutes and more milk than Mary suggests. And then, how are you doing? Really well. Yeah, so not too far up. Perfect. And then we're going to colour the heart in red. So I'm going to turn my over to colour where I haven't got any pencil marks um, because I'd make a better picture. Oh, nice. Okay, so then take a colour. You can do, we've got felt pens and pencils. Are you going to do pencil or felt pen? Well, not pen, why not? Yeah. No, you're using the pencil, are you? Uh, no, there's another red pen. Oh, you're going to do pencil. Well, I did my own things at all. Yeah, so you don't need to just do a one plain colour. You can make a pattern in your heart, as it were. And then when you've got a bit more time, you can colour in your hands. You put rings on your fingers, so it might be that one hand is your hand and one hand represents somebody else's hand. Could be the person that you're going to send it to. Oh, all my characters have fallen over. And so then we're going to glue, glue our hands. So again, you can take a bit more care over this because you'll have more time. So put a bit of glue, mainly on the fingers and around the edges. You don't need to put too much in the middle. Quite often with glue, the middle tends to take care of itself as long as you've got glue around the edges. And then we can stick that on our piece of paper. 
And if you've got little hands, this will look even better because you'll fit on the piece of paper better. There we are. And so you can decorate that however you like and maybe write a little message. How's that going? Oh, stripy. A little message in the middle. I'm just going to get rid of the paper. the journey of the heart from the oxidization of the blood. <laughs> well, it is. Um, that's what I, inadvertently that's what happens. Um, it's going from a nice dark blue um, to a nice red. But you can also see it as um, half a rainbow. I was going to say it looks a bit like a rainbow. Okay, so you're going to glue that on. I was trying to give some scientific teaching to our audience. Do you want what colour paper do you want? Um, red, please. Okay, do you want to find that? I'll go salmon pink. Is this salmon pink? Okay. Uh, it it could just are, be are, are you just ripping it out? Yes. Carefully. You've ripped it out really neatly. Yes. Oh well, close enough. Okay, so these have baked in about 12 minutes. And uh, I think they're quite successful. I'll just organise them a little bit. Do you want me to organise them while you do the gluing? No, you can do a bit of gluing. Do you want to do some gluing? Or do you want to move the gluing one to one side? So where we, <laughs> where the hole went right through the buns, we've got a little bit of sticking, but it's not too bad. You could also colour the hands, couldn't you? You could colour the hands, and you would if you had any time. Obviously, we're just going quickly, that'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Right. Very nice. What the heart? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you're a little person with little hands, it would look much better, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, let's have a look. So these are our hearts and our hands to thank you for caring enough to tune in to Cooking with Caleb each week. And uh, we'll leave those there and we'll show you the jammy buttons, which I'd say are quite successful. So you can see the one or two where we haven't managed to close them up, but we've got a little few down here where we close them up quite well. And I don't think, yeah, the jam didn't come through the bottom. So uh, yeah, so jammy buttons. Should we crack one open on a plate and see what we think? knife. So we'll open one of these and then we'll sing our song once more. Should we have this one? Do you want to, do you want to what do you think? My coffee's an idea of a... Okay, let's uh, go on. Oh no, it's alright, I'm there. Yeah, yeah, okay, so, so cut the uh, cut the bun open. Let's see. Not, oh, yeah, not, not very much jam, not, but a bit of... Not enough jam. Not enough jam, but a bit of jam. I don't know if you can see that. Should we try a piece? I think maybe um, future reference. Maybe make more quantity of mixture. What? Or just fewer buns. It's hot. In fact, it's hot. They just can't yell them. Um, one of us is surprised that something that's been in the oven for 12 minutes is really hot. Ooh. And the jam is really hot. But they're nice, right. aren't they? Mm. Right, so with our mouths full of buns, we're going to just sing our song once more. You ready? Okay. I don't think it matters, fine. On the Jericho Road, there, there were some, some real bad men. Saw a guy as he went by, and they said, said let's rob him. And then they beat, beat him up and knocked him to the ground. And when he, he was, was just halfway, halfway up, they knocked him down again. again. On the Jericho Road, there was a priestly man. Saw the guy as he went by, was he a neighbour then? He didn't pick him up or carry him to town. He giant stepped and giant stepped and giant stepped around. On the Jericho Road, there was a Levite man. He saw the guy as he went by, was he a neighbour then? He didn't pick him up 
or carry him to town. He tippy-toed and tippy-toed and tippy-toed around. On the Jericho Road, a good Samaritan saw the guy as he went by. Was he a neighbour then? He stopped and picked him up and carried him to town and paid a kindly innkeeper to keep him safe and sound. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for your company. Thank you for joining us. Um, we hope this isn't the end of Cooking with Caleb forever, but it's certainly oh, wow. the end. Oh, it's hailing and everything. Maybe God's pleased. Um, it's uh, certainly the end of Cooking with Caleb for now. So we will see you another time, but thank you so much for joining us. And do take good care. Yes. Goodbye. You're going to turn it off. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm paying too much attention to the hail. It's very exciting. <laughs>